here with us. I'm Wes Cooper. We have a lot to get to tonight. Today, thousands across the country were protesting in the wake of the mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Protesters and families gathered outside the National Rifle Association's annual convention in Houston, Texas, holding anti-NRA and anti-gun violence signs, many demanding change and action taken to limit gun access. Back here in Knoxville, dozens rallied Echoing the same sentiments heard around America right now, they want lawmakers to take action. A substantial turnout Friday on the corner of Kingston Pike and Morrill Road as dozens tried to get the attention of drivers encouraging gun law reform. It's a breakdown on a societal level of like our ability to just address, you know what, honestly, we have a we have a problem with high capacity magazines. We have a problem with an extremely weak vetting process. And people don't want to admit that. I want this world to be safer and I am appalled that our legislators have done nothing to curb gun violence. Stephen Rogers is a teacher, and while he says he's not scared to go to work... The sinking weight of realizing how little my life is valued and how little children's lives are valued, it gets really numbing. So uh, I'm just hoping that a couple people who've been on the fence might see some signs, hear someone when they're walking down the sidewalk, and maybe take another look at an issue that the only wealthy, industrialized, technologically advanced country in the world has not addressed. The majority at the rally say they do not want all guns banned. They just want more regulations to prevent weapons from going into the wrong hands. I support the Second Amendment. I am not opposed to people owning guns. I am opposed to anyone owning a gun and having a gun that has not been trained to use it and it's not licensed. So I'm for common sense. This is not party oriented. Those bullets that come out of the guns don't don't have Democrat Republican on it. They do not have blue red. They kill regardless. It doesn't have to be a full ban on guns. So many people online are thinking like, oh, it's going to be the end of the Second Amendment. There'll be no guns anywhere. That's that's really not the argument. The argument is to have sensible reforms like 48 other countries have done. You can protect a Second Amendment right, but you can also pass gun sense legislation, and that's exactly what we need to do. We need to be passing um, uh, red flag laws and safe storage laws and universal background checks. There are things that we can do right now. Knoxville police were at the rally too. We're told the event was organized by Moms Demand Action as well as other groups.